Banknotes come in all shapes and sizes. And while some are straight up bizarre, others give us a unique insight into the country's culture and history. The first new Australian banknote to be printed in a quarter century has already started hitting hip pockets across the country. So I thought it was about time to introduce you to the most advanced banknote in the world. Banknotes first originated in China around 900 AD, during the Tang Dynasty. In fact, the term cash is derived from the Chinese coin that was used during this time, the Kai Shuan. It wouldn't be for another 700 years that paper currency would make its way to Europe. By this point, China was heading towards a rather crippling financial crisis. This was partially due to how easily the notes were to counterfeit. In reaction to this, China banned paper money entirely in 1455, and wouldn't adopt it again for another 200 years. In come the dollars, in come the cents. But counterfeit money isn't a problem exclusive to 15th century China. When Australia transitioned from the British pound to the Australian dollar in 1966, a small group of criminals from suburban Melbourne took advantage of the confusion surrounding the change in currency and printed a batch of fake paper banknotes with nothing more than an office printer. This scam netted the group almost 800,000 Australian dollars. Adjusted for inflation, that's about $10 million in today's currency. In an effort to make a new, more secure banknote, the Australian government commissioned the CSIRO, which is Australia's scientific research body, to redesign their currency. In February 1972, the CSIRO and the Royal Bank of Australia had developed a polymer banknote. These new plastic banknotes weren't only more secure, but they were also much more durable than their paper note counterparts, lasting almost three times longer. 16 years later in 1988, and the first Australian polymer banknote went into circulation. Since then, the polymer banknote has been adopted by over 22 countries around the world, including Singapore, Canada, and as of the 13th of September 2016, the United Kingdom. And now the original polymer banknote is getting a facelift, including a whole bunch of new counterfeit security measures. The most prominent being the several holographic prints across the note that change depending on how you're holding it. There's also microscopic writing that makes up the shading on the parliament building. This is actually an old security feature that's been around since the last polymer notes were printed back in 1992. This, for example, is Banjo Patterson. He's the Australian poet that graces the $10 note. And if you look close enough, you'll see his poem, The Man from Snowy River, makes up the shading on his face. But it's not just the security features that have received an update. For the first time, this Australian banknote features a textile bump. This allows visually impaired people to identify their currency. Up until now, visually impaired people have had to rely on sensing the size of the note to know how much they're handing over. The Canadian polymer note already has a similar feature, in which the note's value is printed in braille across the top. But without a doubt, the coolest feature of this note is that it's able to play vinyl records. It may seem insane, but it really works. The pointy corner of the note acts as a stylus. It rides along the grooves in the record. The friction caused by these grooves makes the note vibrate. Those vibrations are then picked up by our ears and interpreted as sound. These vibrations change depending on the width and depth of the grooves in the record. So, which currency gets the best sound? Well, I may be biased, but in my opinion, you can't beat the original scientific wonder that is the Australian polymer banknote. Thanks so much for watching my video. We are on hiatus next week, but make sure to tune in the week after for another amazing science video.